Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel IU Rumors. Today, I'm going to be showing all of you how you can bypass the Microsoft account when setting up a new Windows computer. Usually when we set up a Windows computer which is running on Windows 11, you have to create a Microsoft account in order for you to even enter the computer. There is no way where you can create an account later and just set it up just for maybe guest use or maybe just to just go into the computer. You have to either log into your Microsoft account or you have to create an account in order for you to even go into it. But today I'm going to be showing all of you how you can bypass that and you can just go straight into the computer without having a Microsoft account. There may be many reasons you might have just reset your laptop and you intend on selling it. So when you want to sell it, you won't want to put your Microsoft account because you just want to set it up just so you can just show it to the other person while you're selling, you know, maybe they can take a look at the computer. That might be another reason. Another reason is you might not want your Microsoft account to be associated with this computer and you might just want it to be just like a running account without a Microsoft account. That is for the few reasons you want to set up your Windows laptop without a Microsoft account. So that's what I'm going to be showing in today's video. So it's going to be pretty simple. So without further ado, let's get started right into doing it. I have my Windows laptop open over here. This is a Asus ZenBook and if you take a look at the screen, you can see that it has unlocked your Microsoft account and when I click sign in, it says add your Microsoft account. So there is no way where you can don't add your Microsoft account and log in. So let me just try to click next. And here you can see enter a valid email. I can click learn more so I can't really do anything. So now we are going to be going to bypass this. First thing is to bring your laptop to this setup screen. Just bring it to this screen once you have done the initial setup and we're going to click fn shift and f10 over here so let me show you the keys again fn shift and f10 press all of them together and we have this administration pop up once this screen is in click here and we're going to type ncpa ncpa.cpl we're going to type this and we're going to click enter once we have entered that you can see that our wi-fi is turned on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click wi-fi and i'm going to click disable this network device and once that's done, here you can see that Wi-Fi is disabled. Once the Wi-Fi network has been disabled, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in o o b e slash bypass bypass n r o. I'll just put the text on the screen so you can see it as well. Once we've typed that, let's click enter. Now we got to wait for the computer to boot up. The laptop took about two minutes to boot up. Now since it's boot up, we're going to set the laptop up right now. Click English United States. Now we're going to click our country. I'm just going to scroll down. Singapore. I'm going to click continue. My keyboard, I'm going to just going to let it remain as English US. And I'm going to skip the second keyboard layout. This is just some of the initial setups. Now this is where you've got to be careful. So when let's connect you to a network, you click, you don't have an internet. And then you're going to click continue with limited setup. So when you continue that, it will just ask you to just put some name so i'm just going to put zenbook so once i put zenbook i'm going to click enter you don't necessarily have to put a password you can just click enter so all these small initial setups that you have to do i'm going to click accept you don't have to set up any of this just skip all of this it's loading up and there we go the computer has been put up and here you can see there's the zenbook name and the computer is set up with and you can just use it or you can sell it away and this is just the perfect way to get your laptop away i'm definitely sure that this trick will be useful to a lot of you computer users are mostly pc and windows users so i'm sure this will be helpful to a lot of you many of us sometimes do not want to use a Windows microsoft account to a laptop maybe it might be just be a home use computer there's a lot of cases where you don't want to log into your computer it's just kind of sad that you have these kind of workarounds in order for you to get your Windows laptop to boot up without a Microsoft account. I think in 2024, it should be a norm for it to have a default option where it shows continue without signing in. But hey, Windows doesn't have it. So I guess we got to use this kind of workarounds. And I hope this video helped a lot of you. If you like this video and if this video helped you, I would love to know your comments. And if you like this video, if you want me to have do some improvements to the videos, like some of maybe the sound or you want me to do some editing or stuff like that, just do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to take your feedbacks and provide better content for all of you. So if you still like the like button, get subscribed, turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.